All right, everybody, welcome to, back to another episode of Torque, the channel created for the weekend warriors out there wrenching on their vehicle. Today's episode, we'll be working on the 69 Chevelle, the body itself, get it ready for paint, prep it, lots of work to do. I've got a little helper right here. I think he's a little tired from the heat. So uh, let's head out to the barn. We'll get to work. All right, we're back in the barn, heading to the paint booth. We have the uh, car set up inside. It's pretty much prepped. I have to do one more wipe of alcohol and uh, attack it, and uh, then, it's, then it's ready to paint. So I'll just give you guys a quick shot. It's all taped up. It's ready to go. So we'll be back and I'll show you some of the results. All right, we're back in the paint booth. The body has its sealer on. It's all prepped. Uh, we had to get out some little nibs, which is some dirt on the body and we're about ready to lay down some color. So let's hope it turns out well. All right, we've got the first coat of color on. It's looking pretty good. We found a little, a few nibs that we have to take care of, and of course there's some light spots when you t turn off the the, uh, the lights and you use a sun gun. But yeah, it looks pretty good. Two more coats to go, and then clear, and I don't know if we'll get to clear tonight because we don't want to run into the same problem we ran to with the hood. So, just stay tuned. Alright, finally finished up in here. Uh, we've got three uh, mid, mid to full wet coats on the car of, of a base and then a orientation coat. So it came out really good. You can't see how uh, kind of sparkly it is. It's got, a, it's got a lot of metallic in this paint. But it came out really good. We had one bug fly in, got him out. You can't tell where it's at. So it's a good day. So we're not gonna even attempt the spray tonight since it's already approaching seven o'clock and uh, we'll pick up with uh, clear tomorrow. So we'll press on tomorrow. You guys probably noticed on the car that we didn't paint the dash black. Susan had a change of mind uh, yesterday, so we painted everything gray. So it looked pretty good gray. We'll have to get some uh, semi-gloss uh, clear to put on there. All right, two coats down, three to go. You can already start to see the results. It's starting to look pretty good. There's just a little bit of dirt in there. You just can't avoid that. And uh, you know, we'll end up cut and buffing it. So I think it'll turn out all right. So we'll see at the end. All right, we put the last coat of clear on. It came out really good. We've got five coats of clear on. Um, I feel like I just ran a marathon and by no means am I in shape for a, a marathon. Um, yeah, it came out pretty good. It'll look, come out a lot better when I cut and buff it. Tomorrow we'll pull it out of the paint booth and I've got some other little pieces I have to finish painting um, and continue on with these little pieces. So. All right, we moved the car out from the, sand, uh, the paint booth and we started sanding on it and we were sanding on it till it was 12.30 to one o'clock last night. Susan came out here, was bored, so I put her to work and she started sanding. She did a really good job. So we got to sand it to 800 grit um, we still have to do a thousand, twelve hundred, fifteen, uh, two thousand, twenty-five hundred, and then three thousand. Um, you can see there's certain areas that we didn't do, and they're pretty smooth. And we may just leave them alone, just denib them a little bit, and then hit that with the small polisher. Um, even the cow area, it looks pretty good. And uh, yeah, it looks. You can see the the uh, gloss off of that. So we may just leave that alone. Okay, I wanna show you guys real quick. I'm gonna show you before, and I'm just gonna do a section of the quarter panel, and you can see that this is done at, at, at 3,000 grit sandpaper. So the whole car's done in 3,000. Susan did probably more than half of it. She did the 1,000 and 1,200, and then continued to go all the way to 3,000 with me. So give me a minute, and I'll show you what one section looks like. 
All right, I just completed the first compound uh, with the uh, wool pad and what a difference, what a difference it makes. So you can see right there, there's the uh, 3000 and then you go to the, just the one area that I did. And this is just the first stage, just like the hood. It's just incredible results. So we've got two more stages to do and it's getting late. So we're gonna call it quits tonight and start tomorrow. All right, it's about 10.30 Sunday night. I'm about, whoops, Susan's already left to go inside. The 69 Chevelle is one step closer to uh, being on the road. So we've got the third stage of buffing done on one side of the car. Just wanted to show you guys the results. It's pretty incredible as always. That 3M kit is, uh, is uh, really, really good. It's pretty amazing. I'll show you guys the roof. I mean, the reflection off that is uh, pretty incredible. So this next week, I'll continue on. I'll do the other side with the, uh, the third stage. I'll also maybe do the dash and uh, the firewall, try and smooth those out. They already, already look pretty, pretty good, but we'll try and nib them maybe a little bit and, uh, and, and polish them. So if you guys have any questions, please submit them in the comments and I'll try and put it in the next video. Um, otherwise, if you like the video, please like or subscribe or share it with your friends. And uh, we'll see you uh, next week on another episode of Torqued.